Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Atus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to register Land Bank Online iAccess. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offers just on this video. Let's get started. So, if you want to create your account here on iAccess on Land Bank, well, this one is quite easy. Now, the first step here is you want to access their official website. Now, typically, you can go and directly access their official website again access to the official website this is going to be something really important it's going to be uh the following it's going lbpi access now you can also search this online so just type in lbpi access just to make sure that you're accessing the correct website now in their website you should be able to see the login section but since we want to register let's go ahead and choose the sign up now just underneath the login button let's go ahead and just press or click on it now, it should redirect you to the terms and conditions here. So, you can go and read that if you want to. And I would highly recommend you to read this first. So, once you do read everything here, you should be able to see the very bottom here. And you can go ahead and start adding your over, uh, over uh, signature over printed name. And uh, your uh, this one, let's go and click on I agree. And it should redirect you to the account creation. Now, in this page here, you just need to provide the necessary information. Now, every information or anything that has an asterisk at the top right here on that text, it means it's required. So you need to provide those details. You, uh, If you skip those, you won't be able to create your details. Now, let's go ahead and first discuss the first part, which in this case is going to be your account information. Now, it's going to ask you for your ATM account. Now, by the account number. So specifically, it's going to be 10 digits. No, you might be confused. Why does it say ATM account here? Well, it's kind of different because we all know that this is just an example of a land bank card. Typically, uh, a land bank card here has like 16 digits. It's not 10 digits here. Now, since it's asking for our account number, you could, you could just basically um, ignore the ATM part. But usually in your ADM, just underneath your name, you should be able to see a bunch of numbers here. And that's actually your account number. Now it's going to start with SA if you have a savings account. And the numbers following it is going to be the number that you're looking for. It's specifically or it's exactly 10 digits. Now you could go ahead and just ignore the SA here and just copy the whole numbers here and just paste it in here. Or you could just type it in. Now once you've added the number here, you could go and just provide the other information now the ATM pin here is going to be the pin that you've set up for your ATM so in this case the pin that you set it up for and also you want to make sure that enable fund transfer is also enabled now for the JIA here you can go and click on click here to learn more about it but basically if you have an individual account so it's the sole owner of that account is you well you just need to type in or just uh, provide zero in here now, if you have a joint account, well, if you're sharing an account with someone, you could either press one or two. Now, you need to confirm with your branch, uh, for uh, with your branch of account. So, whichever branch you create your account here, or you could go and call customer care here to see which uh, J A I you need to use for specifically this one. But yeah, let's get close this one. Now, again, like what I said, if you're an individual holder of the, that account, let's just press zero. And from here, you just need to enter the other details. Now, that includes your personal information, basic information like your first name, middle name, last name, and also your mother's maiden name, your spouse's full name. Now, in here, you could go ahead and skip this section here. Like, if you don't have, like, a sp spouse in here, you could go and just uh, provide, uh, you could just say none if you, uh, or NA. Now, you could go and choose your gender, your uh, civil status here. So, I've chosen single. Now, by the way, this one is actually uh, uh ha doesn't have an asterisk. You can go and skip this section here, and from here the birthday and your ten. Now, from here, provide your address as well, contact information that includes your email address, alternate email addresses here just in case your first email does not work, and uh, also your telephone number, mobile country code here. So I'm uh, assuming uh, it's the Philippines here. Mobile number is going to be your number and business name business address fax number and office telephone number but this section is not required so you go ahead and skip this section or leave them blank now from here you also have the security question section 
Now, why you might be asking, why do you need to fill out these security questions here? Well, just in case, like, for example, you've forgotten your password or you're trying to recover your account, these questions are going to be the ones that the uh, app or the platform is going to ask you just to verify who you really are because people can sometimes will be, may, they can actually try to hack you. So the security questions uh, basically is your insurance here just in case someone is uh, asking your account or just to verify who you are. Now, there are a bunch of questions that you could use in here, like, for example, what is the name of your pet or what is your favorite color or who is your favorite author here? Go and choose that question, provide the answer, and the confirmation of the answer. Now, make sure the answer for this one uh, basically matches the confirmation one. Now, go and do or provide your second question and your third question here. Now, finally, you have the step four, which in this case, entering your preferred iAccess ID. Now, your iAccess ID is like your username. So you can go and just enter, use whatever username that you wanted here and also provide your password and also the confirmation of that password. Now, from here, you need to provide or say that I'm not a robot here. But once you provide all the information, you can go and click on submit here. And that should start the process of your account creation. Now, any communications moving forward uh, can be through the email address or the contact information that you provided in here. So... But once you've submitted your, uh, in this case, application here, you'll have the chance to review a few things and also they'll need you to verify, uh, validate a few uh, contact details here. Like for example, you need to enter the one-time PIN that you'll be receiving via your email. So you need to check your email address and also the one-time PIN that you'll be receiving via SMS as well. Now, just check your email and SMS directly from uh, the uh so platform itself, so look for uh, LBP, iAccess, something like that. And just enter the pin that you'll be getting and click on the confirm button once you've entered that in here. Now, once you've confirmed or entered the details, it will submit your application. You just need to wait for a while to confirm that or in order for them to confirm a few things via land bank themselves. But that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.